Well, today is National Dog Fighting Awareness Day, and while the practice is illegal in every state, tens of thousands of people still do it. W. Derby's Grace Haba takes us to meet one of Louisville's newest four-legged residents, helping raise awareness and encourage others to save lives like hers. For two-year-old Arlo, oh, girl. these daily strolls. Every morning we go for a little walk, um, and then every uh, evening we come walk through old Louisville. And sniffs in the park are more than just a bathroom break. She was uh, a little skittish at first coming in. They are a second chance. She's been through a lot in a very short amount of time. This time last year, Arlo was one of almost 90 dogs involved in a dog fighting ring in New York. Yeah, probably born and bred into it. In August, she was rescued in one of the biggest busts in the state's history and was taken in by Even Chance Rescue. It's brought me a ton of happiness who then paired her with Jonathan. I have had Arlo for almost four weeks now. I moved here in the middle of the pandemic, not knowing anyone. It's great to have her to help get out, meet people, and also just get out and, and get some exercise and uh, you know experience the city. Despite the trauma of her past. How could you possibly like look at this animal and like harm animals like this? Jonathan says Arlo is adapting to her new home well. Dogs and cats, she just wants to play with them and he's hopeful her story will inspire others to rescue dogs from cruel situations. People should th throw the stigma out the window. And to fight against negative stereotypes surrounding certain breeds like pit bulls. As far as them being, you know, bad animals, you know, na like naturally, that's just not true at all. The ASPCA says if you see dogs chained close to each other or out of view from the public, it should raise red flags about animal cruelty. Other signs include scarring around the face and puncture wounds, even dirt circles near where dogs are kept or torn ears. If you see any of these warning signs or think dog fighting might be happening in your community, call 911. In Louisville, Grace Haba, WDRB News.